One of my favorite snacks from childhood was classic tater tots. I love them so, so much. That's why I love these cauliflower tater tots. Hey guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is cut our cauliflower head into florets. All right, now we're gonna give this cauliflower florets a quick rinse. Next thing we're gonna do is boil our cauliflower, but before we do that, make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we've got a pot of water here and it's just about to, ready to boil, so we're gonna dump in our cauliflower. We wanna boil this cauliflower just for a couple minutes, really probably 10 minutes or so, until it is fork tender. All right, so our cauliflower has just finished boiling. So let me show you what I mean when I say fork tender. So just grab one of these cauliflower florets, grab a fork, and just make sure you can easily insert the fork right into the cauliflower. That means fork tender and it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water off now. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take our boiled cauliflower and dump it into our food processor. Let's uh, give it a quick pulse. So we are giving this a quick pulse and what we're looking for here is we wanna make this cauliflower literally turn into cauliflower rice. So the size of grains of rice. So let's just keep giving it a pulse. And what we can do is every once in a while, let's just open it up, check it out. Okay, looking good. If you see any big chunks, just take the big chunks and kind of smash them down to the bottom. Next thing we're gonna do is pop the blade out of our food processor. We can set that aside. And we're gonna take all of this nice uh, small bits of cauliflower and we are gonna dump it in this bowl, but very importantly, I almost forgot, we are going to use this nice clean uh, kitchen towel. And the reason why we're using this towel is that we're gonna use it to squeeze all the water out of the cauliflower, or as much water as we can possibly squeeze out. So set the towel over the bowl just like this, grab your spatula, and just start pulling all of this cauliflower out of your food processor right into the towel. Kind of looks like mashed potatoes at this point, um, and that's a really good sign. So now all you have to do is wrap the towel right around the cauliflower. Give it a nice tight squeeze, just like this. Ooh, it's gonna be a little bit hot. Ooh, a little bit is an understatement. Wow, that's very hot still. Now, if you're smarter than me, you would not be in a rush right now and you would let the cauliflower cool for a little while so you don't burn your hands. One pro tip, but I'm not that smart, so I'm gonna just muscle through it. Okay, so let's squeeze all of the water that we can right out of this cauliflower. Look at that, look at all that water come out. The reason why we wanna get the water out of the cauliflower is because it's really gonna help the cauliflower tots after we form them get super crispy in the oven. Next thing we're gonna do is grate half of an onion. The reason why we're grating an onion as opposed to dicing it is because we want the onion to almost be like a um, applesauce uh, type texture. So it's really kind of mashed up, really small, almost liquidy. Um, that's really gonna help us add the flavor of the onions, but keep the tater tots from falling apart. All right, so now we are gonna put everything in one bowl and mix it together and then form our tot. So let's start with our cauliflower. We're gonna take our squeezed out cauliflower and dump it into our bowl. Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. a quarter cup of cheddar cheese, maybe a sprinkle more cheese because cheese is so good and I just love it. Two thirds of a cup of panko. And the panko is a really important ingredient here because it's gonna act um, as a binder along with the egg to really hold uh, the tots together. Next, we're gonna add one half of an onion grated. This is the one we did earlier. And Last but not least, we're gonna add one egg. All right, so all we need to do now is give this a mix. So just make sure everything is nice and evenly incorporated. And what you might find if your cauliflower is still a little bit warm, um, what's really cool is that the cheese is gonna already start to soften up and melt, which is already gonna start to act as a binder for these tots, which is really cool. Now that everything is mixed together really nicely, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Maybe two pinches of pepper and two big pinches of salt. 
Give it another quick mix. All right, so let me check the consistency of this mixture. I just wanna make sure that uh, this mixture really holds together nicely. So to test it, yeah, this is really nice. Perfect, so to test it, all you have to do is just grab a little bunch, squeeze it in your hand, and if it compacts and stays together really nicely just like that, the mixture is a really good texture. Next thing we're gonna do is to form our tots. So just as I just did, grab about a tablespoon. This is completely subjective, totally up to you how big you wanna make your tots. I grab just about that size there. I first smash it in my hand just like this to really compact it together. And then what I do is I just form the tots just like that. I like doing a really classic tot shape for these. Now that I've put all these cauliflower tots on this baking sheet lined with parchment paper, the next thing I'm gonna do is give them a little spray with olive oil. Uh, so again, I love my trusty olive oil spray. It gives a nice, even, and light coating of olive oil. So just give these a little bit of spray, just like this. Perfect. And then what I like to do is just move them a little bit so that we can get the other sides. All right, now I'm gonna pop these guys in the oven and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, guys, I just took these tots out of the oven and they look absolutely incredible. They are perfectly crispy on the outside. I cannot wait to give them a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's get into these. All right. Mmm. Oh, these cauliflower tots. Crispy, just like the classic tots but so much healthier and so delicious. Guys, I know you're gonna love these. I hope you give them a try. I'll see you in the next video.